What's going on guys? Before I begin this preview, I just want to throw out, this is my first preview, and it's scripted, so if I sound a bit cheesy, uh, give me a break for now. Also, all the information given here is based off interviews from the Fable creator Peter Molnox and several magazine readings. This info was taken on the date March 17th, 2010, and nothing here is written in stone. So, uh, let's start out by going over a quick overview of the first two Fable games before we hit the big stuff. Fable 1 was one of the first RPGs where they took morals into a large part of the game and incorporated some newer elements to gaming that are still around today, especially in the Fable series, like the way your ca character's body changes depending on what you do with the character, the aging system, or starting out as a child and growing to very old. But what I feel is the most impressive aspect is the relationships you can have with other AIs in the game. You could literally have a wife or a husband and a house to live in. This was impressive for the time this game came out in, mainly because your wife or husband was not preset. It could be about any AI in the game. Then Fable 2 came out a few years later. This game totally redefined Fable 1. It took the core gameplay and turned it into an achievement, winning several awards. It also had its faults though, but wow did it bring some new elements to the table. This game had a slightly in-depth real estate system that consistently made you money even when you weren't playing. The game also had many weapons and pieces of clothing, along with a said relationship system, like the first one. It had jobs like assassination missions, and wood chopping, and uh, weapon creating, and such, and many other new features, including a slightly, well, yeah, it was a boring co-op system. Now let's move on to the soon-to-come, depending on when you're watching this, Fable 3. Sadly, the story from where I'm sitting looks slightly, um, well, bland. It... It looks like it will be fun and original, but when it comes to depth, I doubt it will be very strong, especially since the past two games never really hit that mark of depth. Now, as I said, it looks fun. From what I know, the character you play as, the son or daughter of Fable 2 character you play as, acts as first a rebel, then a king. You begin by doing quests and making promises to people to gain followers for your rebellions towards the evil like king who's named Logan. After you complete your rebellions, the game flips over from being the adventurer to the dungeon master, or king. As king, you have so much more control over the world around you. You can either lock yourself up in a castle, deciding fates and laws of Albion, the empire you now own. As king, you own things like an army, a dungeon, taxes, businesses, and technically everything in the region of Albion. It seems from what the game creator Peter is saying, this is going to be a very in-depth system and has a lot to do with the morals, for example. You can decide if a city is based on factories and poverty, or a city is based on charity and the care of the people under your control. You can also visit people in many different forms. You can visit them as a nobody or a king, along with a few other mentioned ways. You are also expected to uphold a long list of promises that you, were, that you made prior to your character's kingship. Many people will come to request you to do these promises, but if you prefer not to, you can literally reach out reach your hand out, grab their neck, drag them to a hole, or whatever your dungeon looks like, and just throw them in. This leads us to gameplay. One of the new features that's going to be added to Fable 3 is the touch system. They're highly hyping this. The touch system is a tool in the game where you can use to interact with the AI more efficiently. What it consists of is instead of pressing the A button to do something, you can actually control your character's arm to reach out hold another character's hand or perhaps grasp their neck. Then you can move your character around and they will go along with you. But they also tried to make the AI more complex and give them realistic ways. So for example, if you walk with a homeless man, he may get excited at first thinking you're bringing him to dinner. But if you approach a slave house, he may just try to escape and start crying. <laughs> they also say the new Natal device Microsoft is incorporating will be in the Fable 3, so if you put the two together, I think you just get this. But that's just speculations on my behalf. They also said Natal will not be needed by any means, so if you don't have it or not planning on getting it, that's not a problem. Another thing they're going to really be enhancing is the weapon system. Not only are the weapons much, much more customizable to your character, but they are also sellable. There will be an online auction house in which you can put your customized weapon on and someone can buy or trade for it. I find this cool. The reason why this customization function is so new is because the weapons grow with your character and how your character uses them. So there is no most powerful weapon. 
you have to make that weapon by using a weapon for a very long amount of time and depending on how you use the weapon it will change its looks you can use it to only kill the innocents and it may become drenched with blood and black and may have reddish aura or you can go vice versa this new weapon customization feature is also supposed to be very 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 in depth it's like painting an empty canvas and there'll be uh, other simple changes, like the health system has been changed. Instead of having normal mathematical health, where you can take X amount of damage until you're dead, or heal yourself, you know, variables, there will be the new age regeneration health system. There is also a new feature in which you can charge your weapon by holding the attack button, and you can consistently charge to no end. And as Peter likes to say, if you charge for about half an hour, you will make a nuclear explosion. They seem to be making the item selection system a bit dumbed down. Instead of choosing things like clothes from your list, you simply find them in the clothes room of your castle and click a button to put them on. Let's see, this is just simply me speculating, but there will be a new co-op system, but the Fables 2's co-op blowed. So I am assuming they'll really work on this one and uh Hopefully we can all have fun with our friends while playing this uh, hopefully good new game. Now let's finish this preview off with uh, what what I hope from the new game. There's many things I would like to see from the new Fable 3. I would like to see a very in-depth multiplayer, a very large world to explore, a Mass Effect-like magic system, a very large amount of abilities and powers which would add to the replayability. Uh, future game changing events based on decisions from the past or the past Fable 2 game because you will be important your Fable 2 character uh, for your father or mother. Most importantly I would like to see a fun memorable story. Something that's not there just to get you through the game or at least feel like that. I would like to see them actually take their time and make something really fun and entertaining. So now that we're coming to an end I'd like to ask you all what do you want to see in the new Fable 3 game? Um, and thanks for watching my preview. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned it a little bit. Uh, if you have any questions, you can probably ask me. I've watched a lot of videos. I didn't want this video to go on forever, though. And um, that's, that's pretty much all you, there is to know, though, right now. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please rate it. And uh, subscribe to me if you liked me. And if you really want to be a good guy to get this to get this video viral so other people can check it out especially if you have friends that are you know fans of fable just favorite the video that's all I really ask for you if you're not gonna rate it if you're not gonna comment uh, just just rate it or I mean <laughs> favorite it that's the most important to me and uh, comment below what do, what do you wanna see from the new fable 3 game um, and anything else you'd like to say thanks for watching I, I do videos like these on my channel so uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there too. Bye. The kingdom of Albion is changing. The land needs a ruler. King or queen. Cherished leader or ruthless tyrant. Pure or corrupted. That future has not yet been written. The race for the crown has begun.